if the winter thunderstorms don't push me out of the shop, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, wind a new fill coil this morning. And I'll look and see if I can use the existing coil former. If not, I'll go ahead and build a new one. You can see how everything goes together. That center pole piece. I'll go ahead and see if I can get this out and preserve the lead dress. Get the humbucking coil off, which is this outer winding. And uh, take note of the direction of the winding. Again, it will be out of phase with the voice coil. I would love to see if I can find a, a break on the fill coil. May just be a lead dress issue. I won't have to wind a brand new fill coil. Maybe a repair is possible. The old metal case here has a lip on it. So it kind of makes it difficult to get the uh, cardboard former out. Okay, I think we're getting there. Again, I'd mentioned you can see the uh, humbucking coil here, that most outer winding. Let me count the number of turns and get the uh, humbucking coil orientation denoted in addition to the uh, number of turns. 16, 17, looks like 17 turns. If you look close, you'll see some initials here, or an initial M placed on the uh, fuel coil winding. That's probably who wound that at some point in time. And then another denotion here, number one, and a dot. Probably signifying the start of the winding would be my guess. Or maybe the end of the winding. That's nice. Okay, I see one end of the wire right here. Now we're getting down to the bare copper. You know, maybe I can salvage this thing. So guys, I may try to repair this. This is the most inner winding, best I can tell, and the outer winding here. Let me see if I can secure the outer winding and then attach a, a new lead at this location. See if we can get any DC resistance here on the existing coil. Well, I may unwind a few more turns, but you can see no luck so far. As I'm removing the old winding, I found uh, numerous breaks. Still unwinding at this point. Again, I'm gonna try to save the bobbin itself if I can, that being the coil former, so I don't have to construct a new one, assuming it's rigid enough. Again, I'm just uh, curious if there were additional breaks toward the uh, center core of the winding. I've still got a ways to go. Wow, time for me to get out of the uh, shop. That was close. Nothing like these uh, winter thunderstorms. Anyway, I think we'll stop right here. To be continued, guys.